we're talking about what's happening in the 731. On the Hub City Now, with your host, Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. Hello and welcome to Hub City Now. I'm your host, Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. And today we have uh, um, Angela DeBerry, who is a personal trainer here in Jackson, Tennessee. Thank you for being here today with us, Angela. Thank you for having me, Mr. Reed. It's my pleasure. All right. Um, I um, wanted you to come on here today because, um, hey, it's the summer and people are trying to look fly and hot. Yes. And, and get in shape and tone up and yes. buff, and I need a little work with that myself. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to uh, first start off on how you got to where you are now. You weren't always a personal trainer. Um, take me back five years ago and, and tell the audience where you were, what, what was going on. Well, yes, Tony, you're right. It's summertime, and everybody wants those summer bodies, mm -hmm. you know, and I think some of us, summer has snuck up on us. Mm -hmm. But it's still time. <laughs> it's still time. Um but I always tell people, you know, it's more important to be healthy, you know, and the fine will come along with that. So right, that's like right. an asset, right, you know. Right. But, uh, yes, five years ago, I was a very sick woman, okay. uh, just overworked, stressed, uh, somewhat eating healthy mm -hmm. and somewhat not. Like, like most people. Yes. Very busy. <laughs> right. Very busy and, you know, health and eating right and exercise and sleep. All of that is like on the back burner. Right. So, you know, in our minds, we think that we can just keep going and keep going and keep going. Mm -hmm. And eventually my body just broke down on me. Like how bad was it? Uh, like I was in bed, couldn't get out of bed. Mm -hmm. uh, I only had enough strength to get up and take a shower. That's it. That's it. <laughs> wow. Yes, get up and take a shower. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, I, I literally felt like I was at the point of death. Mm. Um, and, you know, like I said, in the past, I had somewhat took care of myself, you know, right. not totally. I would exercise like all of us do. We get on that uh, treadmill or we, we go at it for about two or three weeks and right. we fall right. off, you right. know. Uh, we eat salads for two or three weeks and we <laughs> fall off, you know. Right. And then in the summertime, you know, it's so, it's so many things going on. You have mm. holidays going on. Vacations. Vacations. <laughs> and so, you know, it's easy to fall off the wagon. And mm. so... That's kind of what happened to me until I got sick. Mm. Um, and what what made you want to get better, or, or how did you get better? Um, it's like I tell a lot of my clients, what made me want to get better was desperation mm. because I literally believed that I was actually dying. My mm. strength was just, you know, leaving. I was getting weaker and weaker. Right. And so that was my motivation was to be healthy, was to live. Right. Um, and I remember one night I was getting ready to go to sleep and I wasn't getting any better. And I remember praying a prayer before I went to bed that night. And for the first time in my life, I wasn't afraid of dying. Mm. And so I told God, I said, look, if it's time for me to go, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I said, but just uh, give me the strength and give me enough time to find somewhere for my son to go. Because right. I have a special needs son. Okay. And so I went to sleep peacefully. You know, mm -hmm. thinking that, you know, in a few days it's going to be over, you mm -hmm. know. And so the next morning I remember, you know, just peace in my spirit. And I remember, um, you know, a voice saying, do you want to live or do you want to die? Mm -hmm. So it's like I had a choice. Right. Exactly. So I had a choice. So nothing happened overnight. Mm -hmm. I gradually start changing my habits. Like what, Instead what? of laying in the bed every day. Mm -hmm. You know, I got up out of the bed. Even if I didn't feel like it, I got up. Right. Because that's part of living. Right. You know, instead exactly. of just laying down when you've been knocked down. So I got up. Um, I started juicing. Mm -hmm. um, I started taking little walks. Even if it was just from my doorstep to the stop sign. Right. I started taking little walks. Right. Getting out into uh, some sunlight and yeah. getting some fresh air. And like what I said, what, it was all little bitty steps. And what did that do for you? I mean, just... um, I think that... Gave me more energy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it kind of put me back into the the mainstream of just living, right. you know, being around family more, right. spending a little bit more time with my son, uh, getting out into nature. Right. Um, you know, like I said, I started juicing. Mm -hmm. I started eating more uh, healthier, more fruits, more vegetables. And another thing, I started eating less, okay. you know, so I started like um, so were you monitoring junk, my meals. Were you eating junk food or something before then or... Or what well, was it? Was it 
was it not eating right because of just how busy you were? Just how busy I was because I was, you know, I'm still a hairstylist, but the time, you know, everything was so busy. Right. And it's like getting up in the morning. You just grab o'clock. what you can get. Yeah, you just grab what you can get, eating out a lot, right. you know, and, you know, eating, call myself eating healthy things on the menu, right. but not really just digging deep and saying, okay, this really That's isn't that healthy. healthy. Right. Looking for things that are low in calories or mm-hmm. low in fat, mm-hmm. but then the sodium content is like really high. Really high. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I thought I was eating healthy, but right. at the same time, I wasn't. Right. And so I look at health, I guess, as like a puzzle. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot of different pieces that you have to put together. Exactly. You know, eating right, eating the right things, your rest, mm-hmm. uh, getting your exercise, all of that are pieces of the puzzle. Exactly. You know, mentally being stable, all that is pieces of the puzzle. And so when you're putting a puzzle together, you see the pieces making something beautiful, exactly. but if you don't finish it, it's not complete. Exactly. And so that's the way our health is. It's like you got to put all the pieces together in order to be whole. You got to get your rest. You got to drink plenty of water. You got to get the exercise in. And as well, you got to eat healthy. Right. So yes. so once you got the, the puzzle together, mm-hmm. um, what happened after that? Well, I lost a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. I... Uh, I think I weighed maybe like 120 pounds, mm. was feeling great. Mm. Uh, and because, of course, because I was sick, I couldn't work. So mm. I was off work for like two years. Mm. I went back to work, got busy again. Life happened. Went right <laughs> back to the same way. <laughs> yes, you know, I, I was in a relationship. So I had all these things going on. And busy I just kind again. of, yeah, just <laughs> fell back into, you know, that life again mm. and, um, and gained the weight back. Mm. And I found myself at 160 pounds, mm. which was the heaviest that I had ever been. In, in your life? life? Yes. Wow. Yes. And um, from talking to you before, because I've interviewed you before, um, you said this time it wasn't a physical desperation. It was a mental yeah, desperation. Um, it was, yeah, it was emotional and mental um, because I had gotten out of a, a relationship, mm-hmm. which was very devastating for me. And I could literally feel myself getting sick again because of the emotional, you know, right. pain. And I was laying in bed one morning and fat again, <laughs> fat and hurt mm. and tired, you mm. know. And, I mean, I literally just got out of bed and went to exercise. Uh, I used to work out with this young lady named uh, Christina Jones, mm. and we called ourselves the Hill Crew. Mm. And so she used to run us up a lot of hills at mm. Toby Bailey Park. Okay. And so I had kind of fell off. With mm. exercising with them. And I literally rolled out of bed one morning and went back to the Hill Crew because I knew that there was going to be fellowship there. I knew right. there was going to be laughter. I knew there was going to be support. I knew there was going to be love there. Right. And that's where I went back to. Because right. you already knew you already knew what would work. Exactly. <laughs> I already knew what was going to work. I already right. knew what I needed, right. you know. And so I went back, you know, and then I knew that my mother and my father had been diagnosed um with diabetes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had a grandfather who had complications from diabetes, Mm -hmm. uh, high blood pressure. All of that was rapid in my family. So you already knew that was in your family. I already knew. Yes. (laughs) And, and, you know, in doing that time, while I was gaining the weight back, I gradually saw my blood pressure just gradually coming back up, just Mm -hmm. gradually getting back up. So I knew at 160 pounds, I was Mm -hmm. sick again. Right, right. (laughs) Well, when we come back, we're going to talk more with Angela DeBerry, and we're going to talk about um, tips to get you fit at any time of the year. We'll be right back. Depend on your tires. Let R&R Tire Express keep you on the road and safe with a complete set of new tires from the brands you trust, starting as low as $16 per week with our pay-as-you-go program. Choose easy payment options, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, and at R&R, complete installation with lifetime rotating balance, flat repair, and 12 months, 24-hour roadside assistance is absolutely free, only at R&R Tire Express. Hello, 
welcome back to Hub City Now with Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. Um, we're here today with uh, Angela D. Berry, and now we're going to talk about some of those exercise tips that you've been waiting for. Um, one of the first questions that I have for you are, what are some exercises for beginners? What are some good exercises for people who know, hey, I need to get in shape, I need to work out, I need to do something, but mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. what, what, what are some of the uh, exercises that you would recommend? Well, you just, the idea is you want to get moving. Mm -hmm. You want to get moving because you want to get that metabolism going. Right. Because that's what burns calories. That's right. what aggravates the fat. Mm -hmm. So uh, my beginning, even before I had a personal trainer, uh, I just started taking walks. Right. How, how long were your walks? Uh, because I was sick in the beginning, like I said, I would just go from my door to the stop sign. That may have been three minutes. Okay. But I build myself up to walk like 30 minutes. Okay. And after that, you know, the, the, the more um, I got accustomed and the better I got, then I was able to jog. Right. So, you know, you don't have to jog. Everybody's not a jogger. Exactly. But that was just a challenge that I wanted, mm -hmm. you know, because I was never athletic. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a three-inch, four-inch pump type of girl. <laughs> so, you know, trading in my heels for Nikes, right. you know, so uh, just build myself up. So a walk, um, you can go to a gym, get on some of the stationary uh, machines that they have, the okay. treadmill, the elliptical, uh, jump rope. Jump rope was always fun when we were kids. Okay. Uh, jump rope, jumping jacks. Mm -hmm. uh, and they always have alternate things that you can do. If you can't jump, you know, then just kind of just move. Move right. your arms, move right. your legs. Right. Uh, squats. Squats okay. are really good. Lunges. Um, what about push-ups? Push-ups. Push-ups. <laughs> I used to could only do one. Now I can do five. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like you just want to build yourself up. And the thing is just to keep moving. And don't compare yourself to someone else who's maybe walking three miles That's or good. six miles. You know, just get moving. Just and, start where you can. And is it true that the more you weigh, the, more you, the faster you burn? Yes. Is that true? Yes, it's true. The more you weigh, the more you're going to burn. Okay. The more you're going to burn. So yes. once you get to the size that you want, do you have to put in a little bit more effort to, to maintain that, or how does that work? Yes, you do, because okay. your body is going to start wanting to just maintain. Sometimes your body is just going to go to a standstill. You're going to come to a stumbling block, and it's like, why am I not losing weight? Mm -hmm. So it's like you've lost weight, you're doing good, but it's like, why is the scale not moving anymore? Mm -hmm. And it's because you're going to have to sometimes increase uh, your food intake, okay. sometimes you have to increase a little bit more high intensity with your exercise. Okay. So our bodies are very smart, right. very smart machines, right. and we have to outsmart it. <laughs> Instead of giving it control, right. we have to sometimes torque things. And that's why I tell women my age, because I'll be 50 tomorrow. Okay. So Happy, happy early birthday. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So that's why, you know, I hear women say all the time my age that I'm doing the same thing I've always done. Um, I haven't changed my eating habits. I walk every day, but your body has changed. Right. You know, your metabolism has changed. Your right. hormones have changed. Right. So you have to torque some things. You have to outsmart your body. Right. Because it will manipulate you if you don't manipulate it. Right. Yeah. Well, what are some foods that um, you should be eating when you're exercising and working out? Um... Basically, you always want to eat low sodium, mm -hmm. low fat, mm -hmm. low calorie foods, okay. always. So you want to stay away from as much fat, as much sugar, no more know, junk as possible. Food. But you do, but you know, there's a, <laughs> right, no more junk food, no more eating out. You know, but there is a such um, thing as good fats. Okay. So, you know, you always want to make sure you got your fats in, your good fats. You want to make sure that your carbohydrates, you know, are in there um, at a minimum. Uh, some people are carbohydrate sensitive, you know, okay. some people can't have as much carbohydrates as someone else. Right. You want to make sure you get your protein. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always tell women my age, too, that who don't want to lift weights. Okay, you don't have to look like a bodybuilder. Right. But you need your protein because you need your protein for your muscles. Right. And so... And it, the muscle helps burn fat, too, also. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And the older we get, the more, especially women, the older we get, the more or less... Um, uh, muscle, our muscle mass begins to decrease right. as well as our bone density. Okay. So that's why it's important that we do a little strength training as well as cardio. Right. And like I said, you don't have to look like a bodybuilder, right. but you need that to build those muscles, to build those bones, and to build those connective tissues. Gives you good balance, mm -hmm. good coordination, and as well as good mentally too. Right. So, um, yeah, so 
it's it's you know it's all like I said a piece of the puzzle. Right. A piece of the puzzle. Right. Um, okay, here's a good question. Uh, how much water should you drink before, mm -hmm. during, and after exercising? That is like <laughs> that is such a controversial question with you know everybody. Because oh. I've heard something where somebody said every thirty minutes you need to drink this amount of water and. You know, most people go by the eight by eight rule, mm -hmm. eight glasses, eight ounces a day. Mm -hmm. uh, but I always say it depends on your size, depends on your age. It depends on the season. Mm -hmm. uh, like in this season where yeah, the weather is really hot, hot yeah. I mean, you just need to drink. Right. You just need to drink as much as possible. Mm -hmm. If you're doing high intensity workouts, you're probably going to need more water, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I just say just drink, right. just drink it. You know, and if you get your eight glasses in, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. uh, the hotter seasons, of course, you want to drink a little bit more. Right. So that's that's kind of a controversial question, you know. Okay. Me personally, I drink a gallon every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. And I don't just drink every 30 minutes. I just, in the mornings, I have my gallon of water beside my bed. Mm -hmm. And I know that I have to have that gone before I go to bed. Right. So I'm, I don't have a watch on, you mm -hmm. know, saying, oh, you know. 30 minutes, got to drink this. Right. I just know that I have to have that done by the end of the night. All right. So, um, What about how much exercise, uh, As how, how many minutes? Do you, do you worry about minutes? Are minutes important? Or is it more about um, exercising to, you know, I'm trying to find the word. I can't, can't <laughs> figure out the word. But, you know, just um, is, there, is there a certain amount of, of minutes that you should be putting into exercises a day or a week? or If you get in at least 30 minutes at mm -hmm. least three times a day, I mm -hmm. mean three times a week, mm -hmm. you're doing good. Okay. At least 150 minutes a week, okay. you know. Um, but it also depends on your goal. Mm -hmm. um, like I told you earlier, um, I was training for a bikini competition. Mm -hmm. So, which means I had to be a little bit smaller than normal people, which means I had to work out a little bit more right. than normal people. Right. So, I did cardio five, six days a week. I did uh, weight training five days a week. Mm -hmm. So, for me, that's what I had to do. Right. But if you can get it in three, you know, three times a week, you're doing good mm -hmm. because you're giving your body everything it needs, you know, right. for your heart, for your organs you know, the toxins and, you know, from sweating. So your body is getting everything it needs if you just give yourself 150 minutes a week. Okay. All right. Well, when we come back, we're, gonna, we're, we're about to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to talk more about exercises, exercise tips that will help you get the body that you're desiring. And also we'll um, talk about um, where you can uh, find Angela and how she can help you out. <laughs> we'll be right back. In a world obsessed with throwing shade and putting others down, there's a college boldly committed to doing the exact opposite. A college that understands you are not defined by your yesterdays, where dreams are rekindled and hope restored. A place of new beginnings, transformation, and honor. Where a Christian liberal arts education is more than a piece of paper, it's where you start your story all over again. Start your story and discover the new Lane College. As a former NFL football player, I never thought I would let this happen to me. I knew I had to do something. Thanks to VIP's weight loss and testosterone programs, I'm in the best shape of my life. I feel better, I look better, and live a healthier life. Hello and welcome back to Hub City Now. I'm your host, Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. And we're here back again with Angela DeBerry, personal trainer, trainer at D180 here in Jackson, Tennessee. Um, the, you've been talking about exercising tips and how to get healthier and how to tone up. Um, but what if uh, there's somebody out there who's like, I just don't feel motivated to exercise. What, what would you say to them? What, what would be some of the tips that you would give them to get motivated and stay motivated? Or what are some of the things they should do in order to get motivated? Uh, I always go spiritual with people mm -hmm. <laughs> when they ask me that because a lot of times 
weight gain, it is something emotional mm -hmm. or, you know, something's went on in your life. Right. And a lot of times we use food, you to know, comfort to comfort ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, food is sociable. It's legal. You know, <laughs> you can get it anywhere. You know, we we use it to fellowship. You know, right. so a lot of times it's what we use in order to uh, try to make that pain, whatever that is, feel better. But we're just masking over Exactly. It, right? We're masking over and over. Um, and I think about the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, and the first fruit of the spirit is love. Right. So love yourself. Love yourself enough to take care of yourself. Right. Why? Because you want to live. Exactly. Because you want to live. And the last um, fruit of the Spirit is temperance. Mm -hmm. And what is it? Self-control. Exactly. So for you to say I'm not motivated enough or, and I have women that inbox me all the time and say, I wish I could do that. I mm -hmm. wish I could. Why can't you? Mm -hmm. So what you're telling me is that you don't have enough temperance, that you don't have that fruit of the Spirit to control what you put in your mouth. Right. You don't have you you don't have enough control not to drive into that McDonald's drive through, <laughs> right, right. you know. So, I always tell people to look a little deeper because I used to think that there was no such thing as emotional eating mm -hmm. until I experienced it. I'm an emotional eater. Right. And so, a lot of times I have to get control of myself, mm -hmm. you know, and say, "Okay, what's bothering you? What is it?" You know, it could be something in your childhood. It could be something someone said a minute ago. Right. It could be a bill coming up. I mean, it could be a number of things. Exactly. But you have to find you. Mm -hmm. And I tell women all the time, I can support you and I can help you, but I can't find that. I can't find your why. Right. You got to be the person to yes. say, this is why I need this, to do yeah. this. Yeah. I got to do this for me. Exactly. I right. have to do this for me. Mm -hmm. and not for your husband, not for your kids. Exactly. If you want to... If, if that's going to get you off the couch to motivate you, okay, use the kids and the husband. But that but won't keep you. It won't keep you. Right. So you got to love yourself and you got to know that you're worth it. Exactly. And find out what is it that's keeping you from having that self-control. Mm -hmm. So, and, and as well, if that means you have to go to a support group, mm -hmm. you know, they have so many organizations out there now that can help you. Um, I used to work with an organization called uh, Diabetes Prevention, mm -hmm. uh, Fundamental Health Solutions. And so they have so many different organizations out there with the support that you need. Go to the gym, join some classes, you know, get a friend to go with you, whatever you need to get off the couch. Right. You know, right. find that. Right. Um, and what are some benefits of having a personal trainer since you are a personal trainer? <laughs> and you have one. You are a personal trainer and you have a personal trainer. Yes, and I have a personal trainer. <laughs> Everybody needs somebody right. to hold them accountable. Right. And so I as well need someone to hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. I have days I don't want to do right. I have days that I'd rather eat something unhealthy as opposed to something healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, I have days I don't want to exercise, mm -hmm. uh, but I need someone as well to support me and say, get your mind right. I have to have someone that says, how bad do you want it? Right. You know. So everybody needs someone to hold them accountable and to help them along the way. Um, a personal trainer, the benefits... Uh, it's so many benefits. A lot of people think, oh, a personal trainer just wants you for your money. You know, <laughs> but actually, no. A uh, personal trainer is good support. Mm -hmm. You build a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. Mm -hmm. um, they give you the support and the help that you need without judgment. Right. Now, sometimes we will have to be firm, mm -hmm. but we won't judge. Right. Because, you know, most personal trainers, we've been, been where there. you are. Right. You know, we know what... Uh, the temptation is like mm -hmm. we know that life happens, mm -hmm. you know, we go through the emotional, you know, fits just like everybody else do. Right. So, you know, we'll help you without judging right. um, and just to get you on the right track. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, accountability. Uh, a lot of times when I have to meet my trainer, my family will say, oh, come on, let's go out to eat. No, I can't because I got to meet my trainer. <laughs> right. Oh, he won't see it. He won't know. Yes, he will. Right. You know, so they hold you accountable because, you know, you got to meet with that person two right. or three times a week. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them, yes, they're going to put you on that scale. Mm -hmm. They may ask that magic question. What did you eat this weekend? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so they just hold you accountable and keep it in your mind that you got to eat right. This right. is what you got to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and not saying that you don't get to have a little bit of fun or enjoy some food because you do. But everything is in moderation. Exactly. Everything is in moderation. Yeah. Um, having the right form. You know, you can get out there and exercise, and you may get some results, but you get better results if you have a personal trainer. Because if your form 
is not right, then it's all in vain. It's all in vain, <laughs> and as well, there's a chance of injury. Right. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for almost a year, and even when I train with my trainer. Sometimes he has to say, okay, keep that back straight. Right. Okay, you know, straighten those legs out because you got to get the right form. Right. So. So, and and as a personal trainer, you also teach a class, and I had to, I have to, I had to bring this up. It's called <laughs> Butts and Guts. Yes. Butts and Guts. <laughs> um, tell me <laughs> how intense is that class because I'm sure it's Butts and Guts. Yes. Yeah. It's very intense. How um, long is it? How long is that class? The class class is about 45 minutes. (laughs) Mm -mm. 45 minutes of high intensity. Um, But I thought of this class because it's something that women want. None of us want... The, none of us want a stomach. Mm-hmm. Every woman that I train says, okay, when are we going to do ab exercises? Because <laughs> nobody wants a stomach, right. and we want to tighten up our butt. Right. You know, it's bikini season. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I thought that that would be a good, you know, class, and, and it is. How often, I mean, how, how often do you all meet for that class? We meet twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 830 to 930. And how is it from the beginning to the end? How, how are they when they come in, and how are they when they leave out? Because... <laughs> I'm sure it's different. (laughs) Well, they come in motivated, you know, Mm -hmm. ready to go. Mm -hmm. But, of course, when they leave, you know, they're mad, you know, rolling their (laughs) eyes, you know, like, oh, are you trying to kill us? I hear that all the time. You're trying to kill us, you know. But, you know, it's what it takes. It's what it takes. So, butts and guts, it's all lower body from your waist down. So, you know, I believe that you have to build your trunk. Mm -hmm. So, from your waist down, your legs your uh your thighs, your butt, mm. all of that helps mm. build up. You right. know, so if your trunk is strong, that helps everything else. Right. Yes. Well man, I wish we could go on and talk about some more exercise tips. I'm sure people out there want to know more. And there's a way for them to know more. You can contact Angela at 731-225-9238. Or if you live here in Jackson or in the area and want to come by D one eighty Uh, which is located at 3115 East Lafayette Street here in Jackson, Tennessee. She'll be happy to train you and help you get your butts and guts in (laughs) order. Um, So we'd like to thank our sponsors for the show, uh, Baskerville Funeral Home, R&R Tires Express, and Custom Wheels, uh, Styles Menswear, and the City of Brownsville. This has been Hub City Now with Tyrone Tony Reed Jr., and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.